when you say that feeling sexual is being in alignment, and on the other hand, you say, don't do an action you don't feel good about. How can someone be in, al in alignment when someone don't feel that they want sexual activity anymore, you know, if they're in a relationship? Well, let's clarify a little bit what we've been talking about regarding this. What we've said is that what is often thought of as a feeling of sexuality is not different from being in alignment. Now, there is the activity of sexuality, the activity of sexual engagement, that of course can be while in alignment or while not in alignment. And we are wanting always to put emphasis on the state of alignment first and then follow with any action that you feel inspired to. And so it is not always accurate that someone in the state of sexual activity is necessarily in alignment. We just want to clarify that. So with that understanding, does that change the question that you are asking in any way? In other words, you can be in alignment while you drive your car. You can be not in alignment while you're driving your car. You can be in alignment while you're having a conversation. You can be not in alignment while you're having a conversation. You can be in alignment while you're having sexual engagement. You cannot be in alignment while... In other words, the activity on it in and of itself does not mean that you are in alignment. So we just want to clarify that. Okay, so, so it, it doesn't matter whether you're in alignment or not, then, to if wanting to have... Well, not being in alignment won't keep you from driving your car, and it won't keep you from having a conversation, and well, it no. won't keep you from having sexual engagement. But that ecstasy that sometimes you reach in a state of sexual activity is alignment. And so often in something like a sexual interaction where two people are focused upon each other or focused upon the idea of the sexuality, often in the midst of that you are distracted from the bills that you're not paying or from the work that you are not enjoying. In other words, often that activity can be a reason to focus and when you are focusing mutually or collaboratively, there is even greater potential for alignment that is satisfying. But there is no activity in and of itself that we would say always puts you in a state of alignment. The closest thing to an action that we could encourage anyone to do, which is conducive to alignment, is the action of meditation. But when you think about it, the action of meditation is really teaching not only non-action, sit and be still, but it's teaching non-thought, sit and really be still. Still your body, still your action, still your conversation, still your mind. So we think we were proceeding with a misunderstood beginning place. Yeah. So now let's get back to where you began, because there is something valid about where you started and what you're reaching for. First, let us say to you that you could be in alignment and still not want sexual interaction in a moment, because yeah. in your alignment, you might be being called to something else that's in your vibrational escrow. So, so let's take this subject, if you can, a little bit apart from the alignment or not alignment and just get to the basics. What What is it that causes someone to no longer be interested in sexuality? Someone who was interested who or who wasn't? So now we're, gonna, now we're going to speak in a way that's going to make you realize why you connected the subjects in the way you did. When someone is worried, when someone is uh, fretting, when someone is focused upon many unwanted things, they are often not in the mood for anything that is aligning in nature. There are many reasons that people lose their interest in many things. To keep your interest alive and active, you have to focus on it. And so 
Are, are you talking about a, a change in your partner? In other words, someone who was at one time interested in something that she is no longer interested in? Right. And so what can you do about someone else's change in interest? Just in general, what have you heard us say? What, what can you do about someone else? So let's say someone who was interested in something that you liked them being interested in, no matter what it is, but sexuality is a good subject. And now they no longer seem to be interested. And so the thing we want to put to you is, while you can't do much to change the way someone else is approaching anything, there are things you can try, but they usually backfire. Whatever you give your attention to becomes more. So if someone is behaving in a way and you wish it were otherwise, but you're noticing the way they're behaving, do you usually get, get them to come and join you in the idea that you like, or do you add to the energy of what you don't want? No, it doesn't. It's a very good subject because as we talk about you being the creator of your own reality, and you say, I like being the creator of my own reality, but i got to tell you, Abraham, sex is better when there's someone else there. <laughs> it's not mandatory, but it's better. <laughs> so co-creating includes someone else. And when I'm co-creating with someone else, then we need to be in the same ballpark in terms of what we want. And so now we're talking about power of influence. Now we're talking about how can I create the reality that I want when I'm co-creating with someone else who wants something different? How can I get what I want in an activity that requires another person and I'm not wanting someone else to do something that they don't want to do and I'm not wanting the, the laws of my environment and even the agreement that I've made says that I won't go somewhere else and have sex with someone else. So what, do, what does someone do when they want a cooperative, co-creative partner who doesn't want what they want? And we say, the first thing you have to do is stay focused upon what you want. So let's say that you are someone who wants sexual engagement. And let's say your partner, for whatever reason, is not interested. If you can stay focused upon what you want so that your vibration remains in alignment, in other words, if you can keep yourself from being resentful by remembering or keep yourself from being resentful by imagining, if you can continue to go to the vortex on a myriad of subjects and, and occasionally bring that subject in with you so that you stay active about something that's important to you, but you manage to keep yourself without resistance, it is our promise to you, when you get inside the vortex and you focus upon someone who's not in the vortex, and you're focusing on someone who's not in the vortex doesn't bring you out, it almost always brings them in. Isn't that powerful to know? When you're in the vortex and you focus on someone who isn't, and you're able to stay in the vortex while you're focusing on someone who isn't, by focusing on so many positive aspects of them, you almost always bring them into the vortex. But what happens with so many people is that you're in the vortex, you focus on your partner who, who isn't or who doesn't want what you want, and then you're out of the vortex, oh. feeling resentful. And now, when you're out of the vortex, your influence is no greater than anyone else's who's out of the vortex. Now you're just sort of banging around. Well, not really. <laughs> now you're just sort of out there having the uncomfortable, not wanted experience, yes? <laughs> right. <laughs> Thank you. That really helps a lot. <laughs> oh, it is a wonderful thing when you're in the vortex and you're in alignment and you feel the power of your influence because it is our promise to you that your partner adores that feeling of sensuality. In other words, it is not logical to not like that feeling of alignment. But no one wants, no one likes the feeling of doing something that they don't want to do that somebody else wants them to do. Nobody likes the feeling of, of 
coercion. Nobody likes the feeling of even going along with something that they don't want to go along with. And so really the power of co-creation and the power of influence is always and only experienced from inside the vortex. And what makes people assertive, what makes people overbearing, what makes people hard to live with, what makes people problematic, what makes people try to conquer, we're talking about even individuals or governments, is being outside the vortex, feeling the absence of their power or influence because they're outside the vortex and all the power is in the vortex. So then they just get all strong and all puffed up to try to get what they want and that's when things really get out of balance, where it is so easy to be influential and co-creative from inside the vortex. So then when you're consistently inside the vortex and thinking about what you want and feeling appreciation for your partner, one of two things happens. It has to happen. If you are consistently inside the vortex, your influence will bring your partner in with you or you will gravitate to another partner. But law of attraction is doing the work, you see. And when you are connecting on so many levels, it is very, very unlikely, in fact, not even possible, if you have a long list of things that you appreciate about someone, they don't go away from you. You see? By using the power of your appreciative mind, no one goes away from you. They just become cooperative components, you see. So then someone might worry, someone who doesn't want sex, listening to this story, might worry, might worry, oh, Abraham's teaching him how to work the magic of the vortex. <laughs> and then I will be drawn in to this thing that I may not want. And we say, you won't be drawn in if you're not wanting in. In other words, there's no coercion that's taking place. It's cooperative. All cooperative components come into alignment, you see. And who wants to have a sexual interaction with someone who doesn't feel cooperative? Now, don't answer that. But <laughs> it is so much better when it's cooperative. Right. Yes. Thank you. It's been so helpful. Yes, indeed. And I hope everybody else too. Yes, indeed. Thank you.